the Duke of Sussex spent his first Valentine's Day as a married man in one of the planet's harshest climates, meeting British armed forces taking part in winter survival training in the Arctic Circle. Harry, who traveled to northern Norway by charter plane, took a flight believed to have cost around £20,000 to meet British servicemen taking part in the grueling exercise clockwork during a whistle-stop tour of their base on Thursday. As part of his visit Harry was shown a Quincy shelter, resembling a makeshift igloo, that had been decorated with photographs of his wedding to Meghan ahead of his arrival, which he laughingly referred to as a shrine as romantic music played in the background. The Duke who was dressed in Royal Marines uniform for the first time, met with temperatures just over freezing point when he stepped off the double-engine Cessna Citation XL at the Bartifoss Air Station, 200 miles, 322 kilometers, within the Arctic Circle, this morning. The state-of-the-art 18-feet plane flies in and out of smaller airports while offering the comfort and amenities of a mid-sized cabin jet according to Cessna. A direct chartered flight on the Citation Excel, based on a seven-hour round trip from Farnborough to Bartifoss for seven people, would cost between £18,200 and £21,450 according to Luke's Aviation. While Kensington Palace declined to comment on details of the flight, royal travel for official engagements is typically funded by the taxpayer-funded sovereign grant. The sovereign grant is the amount of money provided by government to the royals in support of the Queen's official duties, including the maintenance of the occupied royal palaces and royal travel. The Duchess of Sussex is believed to be at home in Kensington Palace following a turbulent week that saw her father leak details of a devastating letter and her friends hit out at the global bullying they say she has endured. Meghan, 37, is a self-confessed sucker for Valentine's Day previously revealing she wakes up every February 14 waiting with bated breath to be dipped into a kiss. Last week, Thomas Markle Sr. leaked the contents of a letter written by Meghan, 37, last summer in which she accused him of breaking her heart into a million pieces by giving interviews to the press, fabricating stories and publicly attacking her new husband. Just days earlier, Five unnamed friends spoke to People magazine in an effort to counter the social media trolling and global bullying directed at the pregnant Duchess. Harry's trip marks the 50th anniversary of Commando Helicopter Force and Joint Helicopter Command deploying to the remote base. There, military personnel are taught how to survive, operate and fight in the sub-zero conditions as well as gaining experience of operating aircraft in severe cold weather and mountainous environments. The annual winter exercise has drained over 16,000 Royal Marines and Royal Navy sailors and airmen since 1969. The multinational exercise, hosted by the Norwegian Armed Forces, comprises environmental flying qualifications, cold weather survival, and snow and ice driving courses. On arrival, Harry was greeted by UK Ambassador to Norway Richard Wood, Lt. Col. Dave West, Officer Commanding Exercise Clockwork, Lt. Col. Andy Walker, the UK Defence Attaché, and Col. Eric Stuland, Bardafoss Station Commander. Taken inside immediately for a briefing, he met senior personnel from the base before sitting down for a lesson in the history of exercise clockwork and a video of the modern-day training program. It included footage of servicemen undergoing their grueling ice water plunge, which sees them drop through a hole in the ice into freezing water to learn how to climb out again. Afterwards, the Duke joined the troops for a hot buffet lunch in the mess, away from the cameras so he could meet men and women of all ranks to speak frankly. As the snow fell, he was then invited to inspect the four-man, ten-man and sixteen-man tents used during training with avalanche rescue gear and a 45 kg Bergen backpack ready for inspection. Spotting Chris Anderson, a corporal in the RAF, dressed in a white, snow-camouflaged suit over his uniform with a mask, the Duke joked, you look as though you're loving it. Inside a tent, he was invited to lift the heavy bag containing rations, emergency clothing, snow shovel, survival knives, hot flask, cooking equipment and sleeping bags torch, goggles and gloves. I'd like to but I'm not sure," he said, making a quick attempt before dropping it. When you're out here, what do you guys look forward to the most?" he asked, 
quizzing servicemen on how long they had served and how long they are based in Norway. Look after yourself, he told them. How's morale been? he asked, before indulging in some military banter as Captain General Royal Marines by joking, the RAF guys will be struggling the most, will they? Before leaving, the Duke was asked to cut a cake celebrating the 50th anniversary of Exercise Clockwork, which featured a helicopter made from Rice Krispies and marshmallows. Quizzing leading chef Matt Roberts, he learned the troops in Bartifoss had a larger daily food budget to account for the extra calories they need in the cold, joking, no wonder you're all so happy. Wielding a sword, he ceremonially cut the cake, shouting happy birthday to dozens of men and women gathered in the hangar. It's really nice to see you all and know that you're having a good time out here, he told them. Use every single day as an experience, and bring that back. I hope you can make the most of it. I know lots of you have left your families at home to be out here. It's hugely appreciated. And you still have a smile on your face. Congratulations on your 50th anniversary. Following Harry's visit today, a Royal Navy Sea King MK4 will be presented as a gate guardian by the UK military to the Norwegian Armed Forces to mark the program's 50th anniversary. Harry in his role as Captain General Royal Marines, met some of the 1,000 military personnel living and training at the base during his visit today. Their presence is widely regarded as a show of strength in the face of increased aggression from Vladimir Putin. The Duke will also see field tents, snow vehicles and a Quincy shelter, a makeshift shelter built of snow in which the elite forces are able to camp. One such shelter, which resembles a makeshift igloo had been decorated ahead of Harry's arrival with photographs of his wedding to the Duchess of Sussex last May stuck to the walls and a sign saying there is no place like home. Harry, who was welcomed by Lance Corporal Leo Lovac and Air Engineering Technician Kevin Burns, joked, You weirdos. It's very kind of you to invite me into your private shrine or whatever you want to call it. And the music, is that part of it? Romantic isn't it? and checking that the British troops stationed at the base had remembered to send cards and flowers to their wives at home, he teased them about getting into trouble as he reminisced about his days as a pilot. Speaking afterwards, at Burns, 36, from Inverness, said, We took him, the Duke, through the structure of the shelter, how it's made. He is used to the weather, I think, because he said about exercises he had been on, he looked around at the shelter with the pictures and candles and he said we were weirdos. Harry spent three hours in the icy wilds of northern Norway, meeting hundreds of servicemen undergoing the grueling exercise clockwork. The Duke of Sussex was appointed Captain General Royal Marines in December 2017, taking over the role from his grandfather the Duke of Edinburgh, who held the appointment for 64 years. The Duke already has experience of colder climates facing temperatures as low as 35 C on charity expeditions when he took part in treks to the North Pole in 2011 and South Pole in 2013 with walking with the wounded. Lt. Col. David West, officer commanding Exercise Clockwork, said, We are celebrating 50 years of Exercise Clockwork today and are honored to be able to welcome the Captain General of the Royal Marines to Bartifoss to mark the occasion. He added, Harry is used to rigors of harsh climates and so will fully understand the dangers of trying to live and operate in such an extreme environment. Clockwork continues to deliver vital training for our people. It provides essential experience in flying and surviving in the extreme cold hundreds of miles inside the Arctic Circle. For 50 years Commando Helicopter Force and its predecessors have operated in this region and the skills learned here are more relevant than ever. Speaking after Harry's visit today, Warrant Officer First Class Adrian Shepard, who has served with CHF for 27 years, said, This is the first time His Royal Highness has visited Joint Helicopter Command since becoming Captain General and it is great that he is doing the visit while we're in Norway. He was able to get a good look at what we do and how we operate in these harsh conditions. He saw the amount of training that goes into it and why it is so important that we do this exercise every year. It is good for the people out here to see their hard work recognized during a significant year for the exercise. 
Color Sergeant Gary Bell is an air crewman for the Merlin and the chief air crewman of Clockwork. The 40-year-old has operated in Norway nine times, four times in the iconic and now retired Sea King and five times with the Merlin. He said there have been many changes to Clockwork during his time but the focus has always been the same. If you can operate in Norway and in these conditions, you can operate anywhere in the world, he said. Clockwork is about ensuring our people have the skill set they need to support 3 Commando Brigade and defend NATO's northern flank. This is the harshest and toughest place to look after yourself and operate an aircraft so it really does make you ready for anything. During the Duke's visit we were able to show we have those capabilities and the team were able to speak to him about how we achieve it.